I'm sorry. I was just rocking out there. Welcome to another day of Number Corner Math Rockstars. How is everybody today? Hope you had fun yesterday with our brand new calendar that we have up here. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today, and I'm going to show you. Let's review yesterday's date first. Yesterday was Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. So today must be Thursday, April the 2nd. 2020. All right, I'm going to first zoom in here so we can get a nice close look at this card before we flip it over. Okay, so let's see what's on the back of card number two for the second. Okay, what? why don't you whisper to your parents, what shape do you see? If you said a triangle, you are correct. The triangle has three sides to it. So I'm going to go over here. I already set up the date here, 4-2, because April is the fourth month and today is the second. So in here, I'm going to write for the figure, I'm going to write triangle. Okay, now hopefully parents, if you cut this out already, if you have this at home, great. But we're also going to use the geo board as well. If you do not have the cutout, that's okay. You can just follow along with me as I fold it because we need to find out if this shape and figure, if it is symmetrical or not. And the best way to do it is by folding it. So I'm first going to fold it from the top down to the bottom. And as you can see here, when I put this a little bit closer to my camera, you can see it does not line up very well at all. It's not all touching all the edges. So this way is not symmetrical, but I'm going to try to fold it from left to right, folding it sideways. Now, as you can see, it is folded right in half and both sides are equal because they lined up right on the edges there. Sorry, it's hard to do with a little camera on the computer. So there's really only one way to fold it because even if we try to fold it from the bottom corner up, you can try that at home you can see it's not lined up evenly. So there is only one way to fold it, and it's folded into halves. There's one half, there's the other half. So I'm gonna go back to our calendar observation chart here. Yesterday we marked off the four, uh, it was cut into at least, at least four spots, but actually I was reached out to, there was even another way yesterday that you could have folded it. But let's finish today's before I go back to that because I really don't want to confuse you guys. So this was not folded into four different ways. It was actually only folded into in half. So there are exactly two parts to this, folds into two equal parts. So I am going to copy this check mark and I'm going to paste it into this column, exactly two equal parts. And I'm going to write one half here because I dropped my piece of paper, sorry. This is one of the two halves, one of the two parts. So it could be folded in half. All right. And we want to know if it is symmetrical. And we already answered that. Yes, this is symmetrical. So I'm going to put in all capital letters. Yes. All right. Let me just go back to yesterday's really fast. Yesterday we had the square. There was actually one other way we could fold it. We know we already folded it in half that way. And then we also folded it in half that way. But there was actually another way we can fold it. And it is from one point to the other if we fold the points up together. And if you notice, that actually makes another shape. We actually have a triangle. So I do apologize. I left out one of the other ways that we can fold yesterday's. All right, so we updated our calendar observation grid for today. For the second, we had a triangle. It folds into exactly two equal parts. And yes, it is symmetrical. Now, I did mention earlier that we were going to do something a little bit different today. And what I want to do is I want to give you a sneak peek each day of the next day's calendar marker. That way you'll have the opportunity to play around with your geo board and also play around with your paper shape and see if it's symmetrical on your own before we do the lesson the next day. So we're just going to take a look at tomorrow's, which is the third. 
I'm going to click on it, flip it over, and let's zoom it in. Now, parents, if you have the papers at home that you were able to print out, I know this says the third, but on the paper that you have at home, it's actually the shape uh, paper figure four. It's not paper figure three. So if you cut out the fourth figure, this is the one. So feel free tomorrow or today and tomorrow, play around with this shape at home to see if you can figure out if it's symmetrical or not. And you can also make this shape with your geo board to try to figure out if it's symmetrical. And I'm going to go to my geo board. I'm not going to do tomorrow's yet. I want you to play around with it at home. That could be your little homework assignment. I'm going to go to my geo board here. And as you can see, I already have it set up with the triangle figure that we have here. Okay, so what I did before was on mine, I folded it in half. I wanted to show you on this geo board how if I use blue, I'm going to put it from one corner to the other. And then I'm going to stretch this rubber band until it looks like it's cutting it right in half. And remember, I said we can look at the pegs and count the pegs to make sure they're even. So the bottom part of this half, one, two pegs for the bottom half of this part of the triangle. And then on this side here, one, two, there's two pegs there. So you can count the pegs to see if it's symmetrical or not. All right, boys and girls, we are going to go now to our days in school chart. Here, this is all filled in. So we say 100. And then I'm going to go over to our next one. We count by tens, 110, 120, 130. Then we have one left over. So 130 plus one more is 131. And now let me change the color here because I want to put another one for today. After 131, the next number is 132. So I'm going to go over here how we're keeping track. I want to add another green one. So I'm going to change the color yet again. And I am going to draw a green one for today for another day in school. So here we have one group of 100, so that I'm gonna to point to the group and say 100. We have three groups of 10, so I can count them by tens. 110, 120, 130. And then I can count my extra ones that are left over. 131, 132. Now you need to help me out here. What should I erase here? Should I erase the blue number, the red number, or the green number because one of them have to be changed. If you said the green number, you are correct. Please kiss your brains. Okay, so I'm gonna get the eraser. I'm gonna erase that one because we do not have one one left over anymore. We now have two ones left over. So I'm gonna change that one into a two and that's how we make the number 132. All right, now let's go over to our Popsicle Stick collection. Remember, remember yesterday we had a new spinner that we were introduced to and we're collecting Popsicle Sticks. Yesterday when I spun it, we landed on five, so I had to take five Popsicle Sticks out. I have them here and I also have them on the screen here for you. And I laid them out as if we were doing tally marks. That way we can also practice doing tallies as well. So let me just zoom in here a little bit on our spinner and let's give this a spin to see how many sticks we're going to collect today we landed on five again oh my goodness let me zoom out and let me take five sticks out of my box here so we have one two three four Five. And parents, if you have popsicle sticks at home or anything, you can use Q-tips, anything at all. That way your child is using some hands-on manipulatives to count. So we have five more sticks here. So now I'm going to put five more on our chart here. I'm going to count one at a time. One, two, three, four. And if I want to make it look like tally marks, the fifth one has to go across. So I'm going to rotate this and then drag it across here. So now, since we had five yesterday 
and we have five today, we can count these by five because we have two groups of five. Five, ten. Now, boys and girls, since we have a total of ten, what I want to do is get all those popsicle sticks that we collected, and since it equals ten, I'm going to bundle them up into one group of ten. So I'm actually going to delete and get rid of all of these and let's count them as I delete them just to make sure I have 10. You ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so it's like I'm exchanging them. It's like I brought them to the bank and I said, here's 10 popsicle sticks. I want you to give me a bundle of them. So I'm taking this giant bundle and they're all bundled up into one big group of 10. So we don't have to count those tallies by fives anymore. We can just point to this one group and say 10. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, you can go back to this calendar marker for tomorrow and play around with it. You can, if you have the paper cut out, I have mine here already. Feel free to start folding it up and see if you can make it symmetrical or not. If it can fold into equal parts, both parts have to be exactly the same. And if you do not have the paper, you can also use this GeoBoard app by using the rubber bands. All you do is click and drag the rubber band wherever you want to put it. And then click anywhere in the middle of it and stretch it out to make your shape. And put overlap them and see if you can figure out if it can be cut into exactly equal parts. And that address is right up here, apps.mathlearningcenter.org forward slash geoboard. So have fun experimenting with it and playing along. I hope you enjoyed Number Corner and rock on. Bye boys and girls.